so hot in here, but I can't have the air on while I'm talking because it's too loud. every morning before work and it's been so so good it's just been a really good routine and I've been making a lot of smoothies so trying to treat my body well and I've been feeling really good today is Saturday so I'm planning on doing a studio day I want to crank out some pots and yeah just start throwing again because I haven't gotten to throw since I've gotten my wheel really so I'm excited to just play with clay today cylinder that I've made and it's pretty off center. I haven't really thrown in probably two months or three and I'm finding that I'm having to relearn how how to throw especially because I'm using porcelain. Usually people start off with throwing stoneware but my second year of throwing I started using porcelain. Porcelain is just way more finicky than stoneware. It's harder to get height and to make the walls thinner and today it's just giving me a lot of trouble. So I'm heading to the library. So as I was throwing, I started to think about the pots that I have made in the past and the pots that I want to make. I realized that there wasn't really a correlation between those two things. All of last year, I was throwing with porcelain and my pots were very white and very clean and lots of straight lines. I think some of that is in my personality. I, I am a very organized person and I like clean things but I'm not a black and white kind of person. I don't really like black or white as colors. <laughs> I love earth tones. I love browns and tans and greens and burnt orange and the kinds of colors that I see in nature all around me. So as I was thinking about this and having this revelation, I wanted to start looking more into different types of clays that I could be using because I don't think that porcelain is what I should be throwing with. I also just want to start thinking more about what sort of surface I want on my pots because I've always been drawn to the west. I love the desert, I love the rocks, I love the colors there. I have several family members who live in Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming, and so I've been going out there for years. Whenever I'm out there, I always feel so inspired. Something that I've always absolutely loved is Native American pottery. The last trip I took out to New Mexico, that is what was inspiring me, was seeing all this Native American artwork, all of their baskets and rugs and pots. And I love the surfaces that they decorate their things with. So I have this book that I bought while I was in New Mexico. 
And like two years ago, I was drawing a lot of inspiration from this and I was making some of my favorite pots that I've made. And for some reason last semester I began to step away from it and now I'm just feeling like I've kind of lost my way. So yeah, that's kind of why I'm going to the library is to do some more research and figure out what kind of clay I want to start using. Anyways, I figured this was just a little peek into sort of the process that's going through my mind whenever I'm thinking about changing the style of work that I make. I'm not sure how this process works for other artists, but I think for me it's just sort of about figuring out what I truly like and what I truly want to make because sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that. Mm -hmm. 